All right, we have a revisit of a knife. This is a combination, a collaboration between Spartan Blades and William Harsey. This is the Spartan Babe is the model that this is called. And that is because of the engraving on the titanium scales. Now, I did a video on this model, different engraving, different configuration, about a year or so ago. So I'm not going to go into all of the specs in this video. I may put them down in the description. I, I may not. I, I will link to that other video down in the description and up in the corner at the end. But this is a knife that just kind of keeps coming back. Let's just kind of give you the full close-up look as we kind of talk about here. The stone washing is awesome. This is actually an, is an upgrade. I think the last one was not S45. I'd have to go back and look. Um, but this is a knife that really kind of keeps coming back into my mind. It's something that's not on the forefront. It's not a brand Spartan knives that I typically am really on top of. It's not something I own any of. It's not something that I, I lust after, so to speak. It's just there. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, it's just not something that catches my interest, so to speak. But every time somebody loans one in, and there's different models, but anytime I've gotten a Harsey or a Spartan's blade, I, I really like it while it's here. I'm not going to rush out and buy one because I know how I am. Years of having this channel, I've seen a lot of knives. I've had this channel for three plus years now, doing a video every single day for over three years. That's a lot of knives, a lot of topics, a lot of stuff, let me tell you. Um, so I know myself. I've evolved in my collecting, and I've really honed in and focused in on the things that I want. And this is not one of them, but it is. <laughs> These run about 550 bucks. These are still available right now. I just saw them on Knife Center. Um, for 550, this is a 2021 special edition. So they've been out for a while. Like that's fine. That that's kind of how my channel has evolved. I'm I'm not the first hot off the presses guy ever, really. Uh, once in a while, it's happened. Um, but generally, I'm showing you older stuff. A lot of times, not available, but. This is still available. This exact one is on Knife Center right now for $550, okay? Couple things I really do like about it. This is on phosphor bronze washers. It's got dual thumb studs. I am big into thumb studs. Really nice ramp here to get to it. It has a reversible pocket clip for right or left-handed. If you want to make it left-handed, the thumb ramp and the thumb stud is perfectly accept accessible. Okay. I'm not left-handed thumb stud ones. I have a little bit more trouble doing left-handed, but you have just as much purchase and reach to get into those. That is not always common on thumb stud knives. This is the red horse knife works. Production Hellraiser has great access here to the thumb stud if you're right-handed. They made some double thumb stud versions. They did nothing with this scale. So it was really tough to get to the double thumb stud in the left-handed configuration. And I've seen that before. If you're going to do double thumb studs, especially with a reversible pocket clip, this is the way to do it. Give the those few lefties out there the ability to easily use the knife. 
granted, you're still going to have a quote-unquote right-handed lockup, if you will. But most of my left-handed friends are totally fine with that. And a lot of my left-handed friends actually carry their knives right-handed because they've just gotten used to that. I, okay, that's great. But to know that that is a feature that they've thought about and been able to do, I think is just very cool. They don't really make left-handed knives. They make some semi-ambidextrous, but not truly left-handed. There are some companies. Um, Medford Knife and Tool has made some truly left-handed where the lock is on this side. Um, Chris Reeve, I think, has done a couple of Sabenzas where the lock is on the other side, and it's truly left-handed. So it does happen. But this is a really good, comfortable, working knife. It's got jimping on the top jimping down here on the bottom the pocket clip you can kind of feel if you really grab this white knuckle it you can feel the pocket clip here in your palm but it's not uncomfortable you're gonna feel the pocket clips there, there's a clip hanging off how can you not feel it right i don't know i think these are very cool knives they're that they kind of put them for me into the category of and we'll just do some size comparisons here of like the Koenig Arias. Super cool that I've always wanted to own. And when I've owned it, I thought, okay, it's cool, but it's not that cool. And I sold it off pretty quick. <laughs> Spider Codelica. Um, the Holt Spectre. This is the Kubi KB237. But the Holt Spectre was one I wanted, I wanted, I wanted. And I got one and I thought it was super cool. And then I sold it. The VC Edge interface. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted. I bought two and, oh, these are not leaving. <laughs> these are cool. These are expensive. This is a full dress version. It's super crazy dumb expensive. The plain Jane one I have is, is expensive. I'm not going to say it's, not worth it, but it is expensive. Anyway, here's just a quick look. I, I'll put a link up in the corner to the other video where it has all the specs and more stuff um, if you are so inclined. And if you've made it this far, put babe down in the comments. That tells me that you made it to the end of the video. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.